So now we're going to graph this one, question 3b. We've got y equals negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 2. Right? So, um, like I was saying on 3a, I, I was explaining on 3a that look, you know, there's there's different, like if you have a quad, if you have an a linear equation, you might learn the xy intercept method. If you have a quadratic equation, you might learn some method where you get the vertex and you get uh, a couple of intercepts and then you graph those particular points. But if you learn the table method, where you actually make a table with x and y and you plug in numbers for x and you calculate numbers for y, that means you can do linear equations, you can do quadratic equations, you can do uh, equations with a power of 3, that's a cubic equation. You can do equations with square roots, square root equation. You can do equations where x is an exponent, that's an exponential equation. You can do any equation you like with y isolated if you learn the table method. And that's why the table method is so cool because it means that you can graph anything that way. And it, I think you might understand it a bit better that way too because you're getting more points, right? So I'm going to use the table method for this for that reason, so you might learn this if you don't know it. So the table method is you just do this, x and y, and you make a table, and you just plug in values for x, you make them up, for, you just make them up off the top of your head, and then you calculate values of y. Okay. So on one, one idea for this is to start about down here and plug in zero because you don't really know if what direction you want to go. If you want more positives or do you want more negatives? Do you want to go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 or do you want to go 1, 2, 3 or whatever, right, with this. So always a good idea to start with 0 and put 0 down about here. So we, then we get negative 3 times 0 squared plus 6 times 0 plus 2. We plug 0 in, we calculate it, right? And so the, the trick is just take your time and, and there's no rush. So negative 3 times 0 Sorry, plus 0 plus 2, what's that? Well, that's just 0 plus 2, which is 2, right? And I like to put the 2 here because then I've got my ordered pair. See that 0, 2, it's kind of like x, y, see that? Right. Um, I'll plug in x is 1, see what we get for x is 1. Negative 3 times x squared plus 6 times x plus 2. Um, and, and once again, like, we're working off of a grid that's about, that's, you know, 10 by 10, okay, at, or, or as 10 in each direction, okay? So, um, we want our numbers to be around this grid. And also, the other thing to think about, or more importantly, is that our vertex we've already calculated to be about 1, 5. So you want your points about about your vertex. Now this is a negative in front of the, the square, so we're going to find that it goes like that. And you'll see as we get it that it, it will go like that. And the vertex is at 1, 5. So you want your numbers, um, you know, so this is where x is 1. So you want your x values to be like, you know, 0, negative 1, and probably 2, and 3, and so on, right? So this is the kind of range we're looking for by looking at the, the vertex. But even if you didn't find the vertex, it's always a good idea to start with zero and then see what type of answer, what type of numbers are coming out and, and go in either direction. So, anyway, so one squared is what? One squared is one, right? Plus six times one is six plus two. What does that give us? Negative three plus six plus two, which is. 3 plus 2, which is 5, right? And then we can plug in x is 2, maybe, and see what happens. So that's negative 3, and then what's 2 squared? 2 squared is 4. What's 6 times 2? 12, right? So that's negative 12 plus 12 plus 2. What's that? Well, that's 0 plus 2, which is 2, right? And then we can plug in um, x is 3 and see what we get. So 
so these red numbers are making up I made those up I plug them in I calculate them and see what I get and the, and each time I'm getting an ordered pair this is one five this is two two and so on right three squared is what nine what's six times three eighteen right so negative twenty seven plus eighteen plus two so that's negative nine plus two negative seven right so three negative seven right and you see how we have symmetry here because you got a look if you look at this you got a two here right and a two here and in the previous question we already calculated the vertex what was the vertex for this well, the vertex was one five, wasn't it? Right, that was on two B. Right, and look here. So here's our vertex. I'm just going to do a big V to show you. This is the vertex. It's one five. Right. So, so these points are going around about the vertex because our, our graph is going to kind of look like this, and we'll get some points about the vertex. Right, like that. See that? So by symmetry, we should know that. Okay, this is two two. Well, the next this should be you know what 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 if if I go back one see three two one zero and then go back one to negative one this should be a negative seven. I'm going to calculate that just to make sure. And this kind of helps check your work as well. So the table method is a good method to use. You'll understand where the numbers come from, what what's going on, and, and you can get to check your work and everything. And you can graph anything using this method anything with a y equals in it right so negative one all squared is one minus six plus two what's that it's negative three minus six plus two which is negative nine plus two which is negative seven so it, it is indeed symmetric see how you got the vertex of one five then you got zero two 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 one negative seven negative seven here see the negative seven see the positive twos so we've got symmetry here right and this is the vertex right so then putting that in the graph you really need to have the skills by now to be able to do this I mean x is one x is one y is five okay x is two y is two okay x is 3, y is negative 7, x is 0, y is positive 2, x is negative 1, y is negative 7, right? And so then we join up the points. Now once again, like if we were to actually plug in, you know, x is a half, you would get a number that would be right around here, okay? If you plug at x is one and a half, or one point five, your your answer would be a number right around, right around here, okay? And it would if if you keep plugging in fractions and decimals or decimals, you would get points, little dots, right? More points, and they would they would trace out the shape of a curve, okay? And so that's how we know that this thing curves it, it you don't join it up with straight lines this is actually curved okay and so if you were if you were to plug in uh, decimals then you would see that it curves and also you need, you need to put arrows to show that this thing is going down forever and it's actually going out forever gradually going out forever as well so my point is it's not you know joined up with straight lines so you don't do that right this is a nice curve it's a parabola okay and the vertex of course is at one five okay 